What's up guys? Welcome back to our quarantine quiet times. We're back for another session of this. We finished up our last one and we're kicking off today 30 central 30 days of essential scripture. So we hope you guys will grab your Bibles, grab a highlighter and grab a pen as we go through this because these scriptures are some of the heavy hitters, some of the best, uh, some of the most memorized uh, and most um, impactful scriptures of all time. We're going to talk about some of them, and uh, 30 of them exactly, and uh, talk about what they mean. Um, and just, we're praying for you guys. We know this quarantine has gone on long, long enough, uh, and we know that's going to continue to be the norm for a long time. So we got to find some rhythms and ways for us to continue to connect with each other, connect with our God during this time. So we hope that these daily devotional videos are one way for you guys to uh, connect with uh, each other and connect with God every single day. So our first scripture is Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Let me read it for you real quick. It says this, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it's a gift from God, not a result of work so that no one may boast. I love this. Basically what this is saying is that our salvation, the promise of eternity in heaven with Christ, uh, seated at the right hand of the Father, is not something that you or I can earn. And that's a great thing because there's a lot of things that um, I'm not good enough to deserve, right? Um, I mean, it could be something as simple as I'm not good enough to deserve the A in that class. I'm not good enough to, to, to deserve uh, the starting uh, point guard spot on my team. I'm not good enough to earn um, you know, the lead role in my cast this, in the play this year. But what's beautiful about salvation, what's beautiful about the gift of Jesus Christ is that whether or not you deserve it, it is something that's given to us. It's a free gift that all we need to do is accept it. I remember when I was, I think I was four years old, um, one of the most memorable Christmases of my entire life was waking up uh, to a, a eight-week-old beagle puppy under the Christmas tree. It wasn't under the Christmas tree, but that's what I got for Christmas, and it was Honestly, the very few Christmases have lived up to that one. It's because it's a dog, it's a puppy, it's Christmas. It was just magical. What's beautiful about salvation is it's like waking up on Christmas Day to a puppy. Except instead of a puppy, the gift for us is eternity in heaven. And instead of, uh, instead of on Christmas, we get to experience it forever and ever. Amen. So we hope that you um, are thankful and grateful for that today. As we um, have celebrated Easter, we remember who uh, Jesus was and what he did on that cross. We can celebrate that every single day. Um, there's so much for us to be thankful for in this season, uh, even though it's tough, even though it's hard, even though it's not normal, even though it's disrupted everything that we're used to, God has still blessed us with so much. So we hope that uh, this word today in this um, series that we go through for the next month. Blesses you guys, and uh, yeah, we love you guys. See you soon. Peace.